Listen, I know for some people, the summer is almost over. It is not over for me as of yet. <laughs> Listen, the summer is all year long. I'm actually looking forward to getting away to Atlanta. I'm actually going out there twice. And when I tell you travel while I enjoy it on one end, the way it messes up my sleep schedule is really agitating. I know it happened that way for Marcus while we were on tour. Well, there are ways to get your sleep on track, even when you're traveling. So whether you need to de-stress or keep your sleep schedule together, CBD can help. But you don't have to just settle for any CBD products. A recent study showed that most CBD labels are extremely off, okay? And some products only contain 60% of what they claim on the label. So melatonin products actually can be the same way, very inaccurate. Well, Nexevo Natural CBD delivers exactly what's on the label. Their products are tested before, during, and after they're made. So you're going to get actually what is on the label and what you paid for. We both enjoy Next Evo. I use it as a de-stressor. Marcus uses their sleep aid, and we love the results. We actually just placed a new order this week. So this is not just something we use because we have an ad for it. It's something we use because we find it beneficial. Um, they uh, help me with my busy schedule to keep uh, bringing down my stress level, and they help put Marcus to sleep like a newborn baby. Uh, blissfully sleep blissfully sleep okay so if you want to upgrade your cbd try out next evo like i said you're going to get exactly what you paid for their stress cbd complex gummies are com clinically proven to reduce stress up to 70 percent. no prescription needed and the triple action cbd sleep calms your mind with fast absorbing cbd then both fast acting and controlled release melatonin help you fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up refreshed. Leave summer stress behind and upgrade your CBD. Go to nextevo.com slash argue, argue to get 25% off in a free bottle of premium pure CBD. That's a $50 value, limit one use per customer. That's nextevo.com slash argue. Argue. What's up, everybody? What's happening, family? And welcome back to another episode of Is it This is Gonna, gonna cause, cause an argument? argument? My name is Angel Lakita Moore, also known as Angel Tanksley. Also known as That Chick Angel. That Chick Angel. She's a host and actress, a raptress. That chick angel. And beside me is that smooth cat. Huh? The rhythm in my left thigh and the funk in my right. And my husband, so fine, so divine. Tell him who you are, baby. This is why God didn't give me the ability to sing, because he didn't want me to be this annoying. <laughs> 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 I'm the other host of this is gonna cause an argument, Marcus Tanksley, aka Tank. Hey, if it's your first time tuning in, this is a podcast. Me and my beautiful wife, we talk about all the goodness. We talk about relationship stuff. We talk about life things. We talk about feelings and all that crap. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Current events. We pretty much talk about anything we got dang feel like it. Yeah, yeah, we do. Hey, if this is your first time tuning in, we appreciate it. And if you are watching this for the first time, you've already heard from one of our sponsors. Yes, Next Evo. And we got four more sponsors. We got four more sponsors. I can't wait to tell you about this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Ritual Plates and Acorns. We look forward to tell you more yeah. about them later on. And every week we uh, record this uh, podcast, we are joined by our immediate family. That immediate family are the people that are in our Patreon. All right, they watch it. They talk to us before the episode and after the episode. They see all the stuff that's edited out during the episode because they're watching <laughs> us film this live. Yes, they are. All right, live and true, live and direct. They got comments coming in right now. And they loved my intro, by they, the way. I know they did. Your intro is actually really nice. Angel has a very beautiful singing voice, Thank especially you. when she stays like in that. You, you uh, know what? Don't put parameters. I ain't just put parameters. You just did, especially when that's a parameter. Look, your hands are doing a I parameter. This, I, me personally, I love this. I love when you on the first floor. Again, parameter. Just say I have but a pretty like singing. Just roof. say I have a pretty singing voice. I did. Anyhow, <laughs> period. 
Period. Anyhow, you can be a part of that immediate family that I was talking about on Patreon. All you gotta do is we call them the immediate family because they we're a little closer to them. All right, they 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 we all up in their lives and they in ours. Anyway, you can be a part of that for the low low of five dollars a month. All you gotta do is go to patreon.com slash that chick angel and sign up. Yes. All right, we're gonna jump into it. Like, yeah. We are gonna do a segment that has been our longest running segment. We've been doing it since year one. It didn't have this name, but we're gonna do it today. And it's in my feelings. Let me tell you what's got me in my feelings. I got something making me feel good. So if y'all don't know if this is your first time, first of all, if this is not your first time and you've been watching us, I hope you've rated and reviewed us on mm-hmm. Apple uh, Podcasts because it does make us more discoverable. Yeah. And uh, that is helpful to us. Um, but if this is your first time, In My Feelings is where me and Marcus uh, give a candid um, little something about What's got us feeling good this week and what's got us feeling some type of way? So go ahead, kick it off. Oh my goodness. How do I want to start it? I got a couple of things that has me feeling some type of way, but it kind of parallels into what's got me feeling good. So um, for those of y'all who don't know, I'm performing in Atlanta this weekend at Atlanta pride festival. Super exciting. This is my first time performing outside of something that, you know, our tour, of this song, this viral song, One Margarita. I have background dancers. I have a costume, a lot of stuff. Uh, yesterday, I decided to go ahead and get a security for when I have to perform at the, well, he's going to be at both performances, but specifically, I wanted him for when I'm at the bank, which is where I'll be performing late on Saturday. And then... um and actually, oh, yeah, 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 this this is with. will have already happened because we're filming this actually early since we usually film on Mondays. And this past Monday will have been Labor Day. Yeah. So uh, the security guy that I was talking to who I was referred to, he I was like, I don't know enough about Atlanta. What I do know is that I keep hearing that Atlanta is wilding out. People are stealing stuff all the time, yada, yada, yada. But um, I was like, I, I don't really go to clubs like that. So, you know. You know, I just I just want to be safe. And he was like, oh, yeah, the bank, that's in the middle of the hood. No, no, no. He, You told him the title. Yeah, he's like the bank. He was like, yeah, I'm not too familiar with that place, but give me all the information and give me somebody that I can contact and I, we can talk about the ins and outs, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, I gave, gave him the, the address. address. And as soon as he said the street name, he was like, oh, yeah, you in the hood. <laughs> you in the middle of the hood. Yeah. <laughs> I was like. Oh, okay, right. It's cool. He said, we're going to be straight, though. It's going to be safe. He's like, yeah, I'm just going to talk to uh, whoever is over the event, figure out where you should enter from, exit from. He's like, but we're going to have a good time. And I was like, okay, great. And I was like, well, now that I know it's in the middle of the hood, let me go ahead and get car service because I was going to drive the rental car. I was like, we're going to get in there. We're going to get out after I do my song. Gucci. He was like, yeah, no, no, no. You need car service. Car service. Yeah. So what I realized yesterday that kind of irritated me, but the reason why it's not like fully like, uh, is that my, because I had therapy right after all of that. And it was all this information I was getting at once. Is that something that I have seen as one of my strengths for a long time is now my weakness. And what that is, is that I am extremely competent. And my competency has had me doing a lot of things on my own. Mm-hmm. Meaning... This whole show and stuff, most people would have been like, "Uh uh-uh, give me my team because this is what I do. I rap. I don't do coordinating all this other stuff. Because I have always been competent, I have never typically been like, I don't know how to do it, so then it's therefore impossible for me to do. I'm like, oh, I don't know how to do it. It has to get done, so I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to sit down, read whatever I have to read to get this to a place that it is usable or can be of service to me. Well, me being so competent is one of the reasons why I'm learning things late because I have been like, well, let me just figure it out. Let me just figure it out. Instead of me being like, let me figure this out to figure out who needs to be hired to do this thing. So... It pissed me off realizing that. <laughs> you need to lean more into your CEO. Absolutely. But also as CEO, I'm thinking about money. Mm-hmm. So You're not supposed to do it. I'm CFO. But are you doing the 
Thinking about the money? Yeah, no. Like, <laughs> as far as in, like, uh, yeah, Angel, it's going to cost you this much. It's worth it, you doing that's this. That's because you have all these inner thoughts. <laughs> right. I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's no longer, it's it's a weakness now in this stage of my career. Get it together. So, <laughs> it's got me in my feelings because my competency has got me really far. However, I've been having to work harder than what some people have. However, I've been able to keep myself from being homeless because of it, keep myself from being in extreme uh, debt to the point where I feel like I'm suffocating. But now I'm at a place where it does not behoove me to be the one to figure out to do it. I'm still going to learn how to do a lot of things because I like to know what's happening, Mm -hmm. but I can't be the one to execute it. So what's got you feeling some type of way? Um, I was sitting here going through everything that's going on right now. That what's at the tip top of what's got me feeling some type of way is um, I I'm feel extremely blessed to be able to do all the things that I can do. However, I am sick and tired of repairing stuff uh-huh. right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, not that there's a lot going. There's, there's not a lot going on. Like it's, I mean, when I say repairing stuff, I'm saying like in our house. Uh, it feels like this past week, week and a half, there are things that's went that's that's like broken and bad and stuff that I've had to repair. That of course you can easily just find somebody to do this, but it, I ain't about to pay somebody if I can just do it myself. Yeah, it ain't that I don't want nobody else to touch this and that. No. I just don't want to pay nobody to do it. But it ain't become no weakness. <laughs> Still a strength because I'm saving us money and the stuff got to get done and it ain't keeping me from doing nothing else. It's keeping I, you from doing other stuff. It, it You having to fix stuff is keeping you from doing other what? stuff. Work. I work. I turn off work. We talked about this before we started recording. I know how I turn I'm off. I'm just saying, pot calling kettle black. Go ahead. No, it ain't. Go ahead. No, it's the dove calling the pot black. The dove? <laughs> yeah, I'm a dove in this situation. <laughs> Go ahead, nah, silly. Um, it's been like, I mean, I know I did a post about the generator. Y'all, look, earlier this week, that was the generator. It was something. It was two other things in the house. And then earlier this week, I woke up at, I think it was like 2.33 o'clock in the morning. Let's just say I had to get up and run to the bathroom. As I'm in there going through hell. The god dang light in the bathroom goes off. <laughs> just, <It's, laughs> it couldn't take no more what you were putting down. It said no. <laughs> the bad part about this, you think it oh, it's just because in the in where our bathroom, the the toilet section is, it's just the light that goes to the actual fan, mm-hmm. the exhaust fan. I know y'all think oh, well, just that's easy. Just change the light. No, you can't just change the light because it's a fluorescent light that they don't make no more. Because when our house was built. Apparently, fluorescent was the thing. Them things that take a long time to warm up when you turn them on. That one does. That thing, t- it turns off at one <laughs> candle foot. I mean, it turns on at one candle foot. And it, it slowly, <laughs> just slowly warms and it, up to it it's bright. And it's still low. It's, I can't yeah, stand that like damn low. light. Um, but anyway, so this happened to the twins' bathroom uh, earlier. No, yeah, it was last year when that happened. Basically, I'm not buying a new exhaust fan. Because I, I had a hard time finding that size. I ain't about to do a bunch of cutting to the ceiling. So what did I do? Pull the thing down. I gutted all that fluorescent stuff out. And I retrofitted it with a regular ass socket with a regular ass bulb will screw into it. So now if the twins goes out, you just take that cover off, swap out the bulb like you would a lamp. I got to do this to the to our bathroom now too. But I'm like, so Light go off, you think, oh, change the light. Can't just change the light. I got to retrofit the goddamn ceiling for the uh, exhaust fan. It's a- <laughs> I was in there, and that was like the last thing that happened. I was just like, ah. <laughs> 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 His poop still shooting. <laughs> it's a water hose. <laughs> oh, bless your heart, baby. I'm so sorry. Um, so that's what's got me feeling some type of way. I was like, God dang, it is a sense of accomplishment when I found it. When I guess up, like, I got the generator done. When I do this God dang light, I'm going to have it done. I fixed the other stuff, so it's like, whew, got that off the list. But in the middle of doing that, I told you I went to look for the old, because I, I know I bought two sockets when I did yeah. the twins. I was looking for their socket. Went out there, opened up my tool cabinet, 
this top shelf over the years is cluttered full of stuff. So I said, you know what? Let me just pull everything out so I can see where everything is. Now I got these two tables. Taking up the garage full floor. Of tools and stuff. Taking up the garage floor with tools and crap all over the place. Let me order another shelf so I'll have more shelves to put stuff so on. So he spends about two hours looking for the shelf. It's taking up time. When If you were to just hire someone as competent as you. Hire somebody to do, for what? A task rabbit to build a whole nother shelf. A whole nother thing. <laughs> no, or I could just order a goddamn After shelf. After you've then spent two hours anyway, hunting. So I had to I found Wait, found, wait, oh, wait, wait. No, this show is sponsored by Better Help. As you already heard my husband, his mind be rambling in the middle of the night. That's probably would be waking him up besides his tummy. Uh, And then in the morning, he's still inundated with all of these thoughts. The same thing happens to me, too. And it kind of prevents you from really being in the moment and enjoying life when you have all these thoughts just racing through your head and cluttering your mind. Um, I know for me here recently, um, when I've been trying to fall asleep, my brain be just yapping. It'd be like, but what about this? And what about this? And this and this and that and that and that. And uh, it, I hate it because it's such an inopportune time because this is when I'm trying to relax. That's when I'm trying to let my mind be clear. Well, it turns out a great way to get those racing thoughts to kind of diminish is by talking them through. And therapy gives you a place to be able to do that. And especially helps you get out of those negative thoughts, right, that can sometimes cycle through and you'll be able with therapy to hopefully find some mental and emotional peace. Again, y'all know I love my therapy. And after all this stuff that I went through yesterday, finding out all this information that I didn't know, finding out that like, yo, Angel, you don't have the staff that you need. I remember feeling my heart rate go up because I could feel the stress starting to pick up on my shoulders and my mind was racing about, okay, now what else don't you know? What all the other things? So being able to literally be able to talk to my therapist right after that, we did a really great session of just really talking about this next level that I'm going to and how to be able to operate in a way that best suits me so that all these thoughts aren't just trapped in my head. Oh, I felt so good afterwards. Well, if you've then been thinking about trying therapy, you should give BetterHelp a try. It's absolutely flexible. It's convenient. It works with your schedule um, because it's all done online. And after you fill out a brief questionnaire, they will match you with a therapist, a licensed therapist. And you can switch those therapists at any time, right, if it's not a great match, if the vibe is off, and no additional cost to you. So get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp dot com slash argue argue today to get 10 percent off your first month that's better help h-e-l-p dot com slash argue argue okay go ahead and finish your statement um yeah so anyway ordering this shelf you had to go to uh i don't know what you would call a third party that works under a third party <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> that's how far down the list i had to go to find uh this guy dang shelf, but it'll be in next week, and then I can reorganize everything. But all of that came from a light going out. That's what's got me in my feet. Okay. Well, what's got me feeling good? There's so many things. Uh, obviously, getting to perform, uh, having a new remix out with a rapper who is just so ridiculously talented that it just – I, it, you know, when you see somebody really walking in, like, this is what you were meant to do. This is, that is Snow, the product. So if you haven't heard Snow's bilingual remix, you need to check it out. Something else that's got me excited is that, you guys, we have a new assistant. We have a new assistant. And she's, little, she's laughing. Uh, so just to let y'all know, our niece, Victory, she is spreading her wings and flying. She'll be hopefully um, working inside of the industry that she really wants to work in, which is marketing and communication. And so in order to allow her to spread her wings and fly, we had to be able to get somebody to um, fill her shoes. And you all have seen her face many a time on different vlogs. She's already uh, done like assisting for us. She was our nanny at first. Mm -hmm. um, we had actually considered her for this position, but she had a job. I just didn't know she hated the job at the time. <laughs> 
<laughs> so the we job had no got, idea. <laughs> so the job had gotten offered to our niece before she told us how much she hated the job. It was like a two week. I said, "Girl, you just missed the window of opportunity." So uh, we are doing a smooth transition. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Yes, best of luck to our niece, Victory. She'll actually be with me in Atlanta, though, um, because I didn't want to throw Kennedy at something as uh, big as Atlanta, not ever working with me in that capacity yet. And my heightened sense of, like, uh, what's the word? The stakes for me are, like, high. So I'd rather have somebody that has, that kind of knows me a little bit more shorthand. So... Y'all will now now be talking to Kennedy in the comments mm -hmm. <laughs> versus uh, yeah. versus Vic. So I'm excited. I'm excited to be able to see what um, this working relationship looks like. And what's really dope is that with Kennedy, at least now in her walk of life, what she wants to do is way more closely linked to what we currently do. Right where that was never the case with um, our niece. So we knew it was going to have to be a short-term situation yeah. with victory because yeah, we started off with a de uh, start time and a uh, end, time. end time. It was yeah. like a contracted amount of time that right. we said we would do this because, you know, everybody should have a, the capa the, the opportunity to be able to work in the thing that gives them the most right. pleasure and happiness. So yeah. a lot of y'all have, believe it or not, have already seen the work, that Kennedy does uh, the man shit website. Kennedy completely. She took those pictures. She completely redesigned it. Um, I haven't seen the redesign. I didn't know there was a read. No, you never told me that it, a new redesign website was up. This is, um, I am. Yeah. You don't support me. It's fine. I am so uh, mad the, at you. The, 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 um, the gift box, the videos for that, which I've actually actually filmed a bunch of content. I just ain't posted it yet. The gift box uh, reveal all that footage that was all Kennedy. Uh, all so the all the content that she shot that he's never uploaded. I just she, said that. I know. I just want to reiterate. You, you prick. My, so much. My, listen, my content that I post, like you know how Angel does the stupid challenges and stuff, and I do them with her. The content that I put up that has captions and stuff and like the work that's all Kennedy. So we already work with Kennedy. She's uh, she's great. Um, I'm. That's what I'm very excited about. We I know we work uh, well together. Uh, there were things before she left us for another job. There were things that me and Kennedy was already uh, contemplating on working. Uh, I was bringing her in on. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, God bless Kennedy. I know having uh, this one, <laughs> having this one. Anyway, um, it's not yours. What? We're in mine. I didn't finish mine. You talked about what's got you feeling good. I wasn't done. You jumped in. Hurry up. You talking too much. <laughs> I'm like, you don't recall Hurry you up. jumped into mine. Do you not recall? I thought you was done. No. Because you talked for so long. I didn't. So anyway. I have my costume for this weekend, and I think I want to make sure Patreon sees it ahead of time. I'm going to put a picture in Patreon. I'm super nervous, but I'm excited to move into this very peculiar place in my life. And, yeah. And my team is growing for my music career, so I'm so excited. Also, that's all. You can go, Marcus. What's got you feeling good? Angel's leaving this weekend. She's going to be gone in Atlanta. That's what's got me feeling good. <laughs> what's got you feeling good, baby? That is, me being gone. Nah, I'm going to say, I'm going to remember that. I'll be like, I thought it made you feel good. Um, The heat in California seems to be leaving. That's got you feeling good? Yes, it's got me feeling extraordinary because now I'm going to pull the old school back out. Uh, I think it's supposed to be in like the mid-80s, which is down from 110 last week. Mm -hmm. Monday, mm -hmm. it was 108. It was crazy. The kids' first day uh, of school, they it, were hot. Yeah, it, the temperature dropped to 95, and everybody was like, whoo, <laughs> really cool. <laughs> um, that's truly what's got – I like this time of year. I stepped outside last night. I like – Cooler nights, um, stepped outside and it feel good. That I don't know what that does to you know, just kind of like spring, uh -huh. you know, like spring. You feel like energetic and everything. Uh, after dealing with miserable heat, 
it it definitely gives you energy, even with the feeling of the holidays, which I can't, I don't know what that feeling is. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. It's not like excitement. It's just a, I don't know, mm -hmm. familiar, familiar, familiar <laughs> familiarity. Yeah. Uh, Listen, I don't know how no, I stuck that really landing. Does the, um, <laughs> yeah, it truly does. That's something as simple as the heat. Getting up out of Dodge has got me feeling really, really good. Good. I'm so happy. And not just the heat. It's other stuff. What have I got going on? I don't know. Go ahead. All right. Well, that's in my feelings. We're going to move to our next segment. Hot Tanksley Take. Hot Tanksley Take. As you all know, this is my husband's, this is what he does so well. I think we actually did it last week, but I'm still going. That's all right. We're going to do it again. Actually, it's going to be my hot tank sleep take. Okay. Give me a topic. Beyonce. Oh, talk about how much I love her. No. <laughs> okay. You know, your dislikes. My dislikes. For my best friend who is getting ready to turn 42 in a couple of days. Well, by this time this goes up, she will have already been 42 and I would have seen her again in concert with my silver outfit. This is what I have to say about Beyonce that I don't like. She is living my life. Okay. She's living the life that I would love. Okay. And she's living it out loud so that I can see it. And be like, why don't I get to do it? The fact that she went and had twins after I had she twins, did. I said. She one up you. I said, girl, why you go and do that? She, she 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 looked at you as she walked away. like. Not only that, <laughs> like she was like, oh, I'm going to marry a dude that kind of that angels do. Sometimes people be like, oh, you remember when people be like, used to be like, you we look like you look me. like Jay-Z. We look. Absolutely. People used to tell me that shit all the time. Yes, she did that on purpose. No hat. People would just be like, you look like Jay-Z. Come on now. I had a girl groups. I was in Virtuous in the church. I was the only one who was actually virtuous in that group, though. <laughs> I was in Black Rose. Mm -hmm. So what she do? She start Girls Time. She start Destiny's Child. I really don't like that I feel as though she's trying to copy me. Even after I put together my full outfit for this Atlanta Surprise. It's all red, y'all. It's got, it, it is gorgeous. It's got this big, like, fan thing that's going to happen behind it. What'd she do? The next concert, she had on an all red outfit with a huge fan piece behind her. Same gloves. Except for hers had sparkles on it because she always does better things better than me. My son gets to be Willie Wonka in a play. What'd she do? Put her daughter front stage center during her concerts. I can't top that. Willie Wonka, I thought, was the best. You couldn't get past that. She said, I'll show you. I'll show you. Huh? Not only that, she didn't even, wasn't even on Instagram like that. She wasn't on Instagram. That was my platform. She started an account. Like, I was struggling there at, like, 10,000 for a while. She started her account, and it go to 10 million in a couple of days. That's just rude. And you doing it in my face? Not only that, she didn't met my, my little sis, Brisha. No. Don't meet my people. And Brisha was excited. I was excited, was excited for her. No, well, no, Brisha was. Brisha's excited to meet everybody. I know. I'm Brisha like, was a chihuahua, <laughs> just happy to see her. I'm like, don't you meet her? Don't meet because you're funner than me. <laughs> Not only that. Her songs on this new album are harder to memorize because it does not do an A, B, A, B, don't C. Don't do sideways compliments. <laughs> what you mean? Go ahead. I'm listening. She do it. She not doing an A B A B C A B A B C formula. She's doing A B Z G. We're not coming back to A. So the stuff I memorized at the top of the song, you're not gonna bring it back. Like I don't have the brain capacity. This is for them young babies. I'm forty. That's why everybody. That's why all the old women like Cuff It because that's the song that comes back. Yeah. Huh? You said you was forty. You just said the wrong age too. Forty three. Yeah. You don't even know your own wife's age. See. You see? Beyonce about to be 42. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand why 
she's trying to make me be the Shasta to her Pepsi Cola. I don't think it's right. I do not think it's right. I feel as though I don't bother her. Okay. I support her. I go to her concert. She didn't come to my tour. I'm going twice to hers. She could have came and pulled up. We were in Atlanta the same time. Mm -hmm. She could have came on through with nobody knowing she was there. We would have had her up there as the no. We would have used it. Oh, for the uh, for the what's the face it? Security would have performed a cavity (laughs) search on us. I would have let them in order for her. (laughs) I've been like reach up in here and make sure ain't nothing in here for her to come up to help with the argument. Her and who's these niggas? Find out what they got on them. I would have been all about it. I just feel like she could have made time. We went to her husband's museum. We didn't have mm-hmm. no time, but we said we're going to support. Yeah, and, I, and I don't feel like she's showing us the same type of support that we showed him. Yeah, He ain't commented on the other stuff I've been posting. I went to his museum. <laughs> <laughs> well, he don't like to be on social media like that. Yeah, he do. He got ghost y'all would just see y'all were like, see, he's nice enough not to then do what you did. You know, you weren't on social okay, media. You, but I'm saying he, you weren't on social media. Mm-hmm. Then you got on social media. Jay could have just easily been like, "But well, then I'm gonna jump on social media." But he said, "I'm gonna let Marcus have it. I'm gonna let him rock." Beyonce, Beyonce. was like, "I'm about to, I'm, I'm about to shut time. you." Cause y'all got close to the same numbers too. We don't. That's why she tried to make me look bad. I just don't. It's very disrespectful. Beyonce, Giselle, Nose Carter. She got four names like me too. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. And I just don't, I don't really understand because I feel like I've been a loyal fan, you know. So that's my hot tanks lead take. Well, I'm not the only one with the gift. <laughs> <laughs> that seems pretty easy for Angel, didn't it, y'all? Uh, well, job. you know, listen, I've been around you long enough. No, I don't learned. Put that on me. I learned. Have you ever been looking in the mirror one uh, at yourself one day and you all of a sudden see a wrinkle? And you like, wait a minute, why are you here? Like, I'm still young. What are you doing? So you looking for your hyaluronic acid. You trying to figure out a way to just, uh-huh, uh-huh, come on, right? The gradual loss of hyaluronic acid in the skin as we age, right? Over time, it becomes thinner, drier, and prone to wrinkles. Urgh. Well, meet Haya Sarah. Oh, I'm so excited to tell you about them. It's a once daily supplement from Ritual, one of our favorites, designed to promote skin support from within with clinically proven ingredients to minimize wrinkles after 90 days. That sounds amazing. Okay, so Haya Sarah is a, like I said, a once daily skin support supplement with two clinically proven ingredients, Ceratic and Hyabes to reduce wrinkles and fine lines. In a clinical study done by an independent research lab, Ceratic proved to help reduce wrinkles and fine lines in 90 days. In a clinical study done by the supplier, Hybest, significantly improved skin luster and suppleness compared with the baseline after 90 days. Listen, y'all, you're going to get this. It is a a GMO, non-GMO, right? It is vegan. It is gluten-free, soy-free, no artificial colorants, third-party tested, okay? These are the things you want to do, all right? Supplement and get your skin supple. (laughs) Reduce wrinkles without compromising on clean science. Hyacera from Ritual is a skin supplement you can actually trust. Ritual is offering our listeners 30% off during their first month. Visit ritual.com slash argue to start ritual and add Hyacera to your lineup. Okay, and now that you got your skin looking the way you want, let's talk about your within, and I'm talking about your belly. Let's get some food in there that you're going to love, and you're going to do that with every plate. What do we call them, baby? Plates. That's right. It's America's Best Value Meal Kit. Every plate is 25% cheaper than grocery shopping with no hidden fees. Okay, so you can count on great value week after week. Plus, only pay for what you need with pre-portioned ingredients. Balancing your busy to-do list this fall? I know I am. Well, get every plate and take back your time with fewer trips to the grocery store and meals ready in six simple steps. They plan the meals and deliver pre-portioned ingredients right to your door so you can spend less time meal prepping and packing kids or work lunches and more time taking a breather from your busy schedule. Give yourself one less thing to worry about with the back-to-school season. And now, listen, 
I know everybody's jam-packed schedule is already on the way because fall be coming with all the busyness. Well, you can count on every plate to make mealtimes easier without compromising on quality. Every plate recipes include only the highest quality ingredients, including sustainably sourced seafood that meets the Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Ranking. So you know your meals will be fresh and flavorful. Y'all know we love every plate. One of the things I love about it is that they put a lot of the produce inside of the of this box, right? And so you're able to see that in these recipes, you're using real food. I'm talking about carrots, onions, potatoes, things that you know came from the earth. And what's so great is that because of the recipe cards that have the pictures on them as well as the detailed instructions, I'm able to show them to my four-year-old, and he's able to help me. So I'm able to show him a picture of the carrots being chopped up, so he'll go grab the carrots from the box. So it makes cooking at home really fun, and I'm able to include my family. So this is what we want you to do. Get a dollar forty-nine per meal by going to everyplate.com slash podcast okay. and entering code 49ARGUE. 49ARGUE. Get started with every plate for just a dollar forty-nine per meal by going to everyplate.com slash podcast. Podcast and entering code 49 argue. 49 argue. I'm going to tell you one more time because my husband's jumping up in here. Getting started with every plate for just $1.49 per meal by going to everyplate.com slash podcast and entering code 49 argue. 49 argue. It's every plate, and that's an up to $110 value. Now back to the show. So let's go into the main topic of today's episode. So last week we were starting to talk about dreams that. We are a little bit hesitant to fully Mm -hmm. run at. And you were saying how you don't like to say your stuff out loud because you want to be able to fail in silence. Yeah. uh, Yes. (laughs) (laughs) I was about to elaborate. That's exactly what it is. I can't make it no cleaner than that. (laughs) Um, No, it's, uh, it's one of those things where I don't, I, I like, you know, that, that whole thing of, you know, Real G's move in silence. I don't like that's that's bull. I don't care what other people do, but for me, I don't like revealing. Like I can com- compare it to construction. I'm like you see the 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 barrier walls go up, mm-hmm. and you hear you might hear the noise back there, but you don't know what's going on. Then they bring the wall down, and you can see the finished product. Yeah, that's just how I operate. One, I don't like um like I've had stuff go on, things that I'm working on. I don't even like letting family know what I'm doing because I don't want to be asked about it all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, so what's going on with this? It's like it's, it's going. Like, I don't want to have to tell you about that. Yeah. Um, And then, yeah, so, and then when things don't go right, I want to be able to have the, anytime you're doing something and working towards something, there's going to be frustrations and and hiccups and speed bumps that come along with it. I just want to deal with that stuff to myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, yeah, we're going out to do this, we're doing that. If I don't feel like being around people, it might be for that, and I don't want to have to explain why. Yeah. Or I don't want to have to be like, oh, don't worry about it. And then people around me and I'm in a certain energy, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I can, I can do this in silent and don't nobody know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Are there any benefits that you think you're missing? I, I know I get that. I get that. I'm not wanting to be bothered by it. Listen, I don't tell my family about auditions anymore. Yeah. Because they just could not learn the lesson of do not ask me about oh, yeah. it. Yeah, nah, I mean, it, Sam, took, it took you a lot longer than it did me. I was like, why are you still telling these people? Because they would ask, and they wanted, I love that my family is curious about what I'm doing and, you yeah. know, praying for me. But because they couldn't understand, like, mentally what it would do to me every time they would ask, mm-hmm. and my mother definitely, it, she's it's just not in her. She's going oh, to, yeah. she's going to ask. So I had to stop telling my, I was like, well, I'll fix it by not telling them, and I'll just let them know when I, I book a thing. Yeah. Um, but is there no no you when you go into film that's when you let them know hey I booked this movie <laughs> <laughs> we got finished shooting it <laughs> right <laughs> right no not I yeah not I booked this yeah <laughs> go to the theaters on this day because yeah. I want y'all to see this one movie they'll be like why just go see it <laughs> girl you the man <laughs> you ah, the I am. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything that you feel like you're missing though from not telling them no. Absolutely, it's been things that or I, telling people that you yeah, want. No, it's it's been things that I've uh, revealed to people. Of I, I would like finally like you know what? Let me just you know what what you got going on, and I'll just be like, well, blah blah. And they could and this be advice that come from them, or oh, I actually know somebody that you know does yes. this, and I'm like, had I known this three months ago, right? So I definitely understand, and when I hit uh, things that would have made the process easier. 
if I hit a roadblock and something I can't figure out, I don't mind reaching out to people. That's not a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but you, yeah, I do understand that just talking, you don't know who's into what, what they are good at, what they know, things that they've tried before. Yeah. Connections that they have. And I know I, I'm definitely missing out on possible, you know, connections that way. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I do hit big enough roadblocks, I have been, I do reach out to people. Yeah. But in the process of, you know, driving screws and nails, you know, just the day to day stuff, mm-hmm. that's the main thing. I'm just like, eh. yeah, you don't really want to. Yeah. I definitely. So for the reason there, for the reason that you just mentioned is a part of why I typically am vocal about things unless I have been given an NDA, then that's when I'm quiet. Um, one, for instance, when it came to this whole Atlanta thing, I don't know what I don't know. Right. And it's not as if I am inside of something that I have so many years of knowledge behind me. Mm-hmm. So, you know, with acting, this is something that I know very well. So there's usually other than maybe someone can connect me to someone I don't know, as far as in like this business is very much so about people. You have to, con- you have to, the more people that know you and the more you have good working relationships, the more that you work even more so than being talented. So outside of that, like I don't really need someone's assistance in figuring the path that I'm going down. Excuse me. But I like people's positive energy. And so I know who's going to actually give me positive energy. And I know people who are faking it. Yeah. And that's the extrovert in you, too. Right. Is the positive energy that I get from it? Yeah. From no, other- you like feeling the positive energy. Yeah. I like, know. like, because I get excited about other people's goals. Right. right. And when somebody is like, I have this one thing in mind, automatically, because this is my natural instinct, I am trying to figure out how can I help that person that's the mentor in me yeah and that's ironically that's me too yeah uh, uh, somebody tells me they're working on something I'm like oh that's dope i'll go do research on that <laughs> like what well, like, do you I... know about this yeah no. <laughs> like um i have a girlfriend who's getting ready to go into real estate i don't know much about real estate outside of what we've experienced in selling and buying our own houses mm-hmm. however what i do know is about taking pictures and this person now has to get hit shots for the thing. So I was like, uh, they were having a birthday coming up. And I was like, well, what could I, well, should I figure out what I could give them? And I was like, ah, oh, I'm going to get them a couple of outfit options for their hit shots. Mm. Because even though I've never been a realtor, because I've been taking pictures for so long, I know what a realtor hit shot looks like. Yeah. I know what it's and supposed to look like. Realtors, yeah. And not only that, I also, being an actress, have to know how to dress for every single role possible. Mm-hmm. So if I had to dress like a realtor, I know exactly how I would dress. I know exactly how I would want to present myself. So um, being able to feel that energy from other people when I tell them about one of my goals and they're already like problems, like not, I want to say problem solving because it's not always a problem that you're trying to like solve, but being of assistance, uh, it, it can, the assistance could just be prayer. Right. You know, the assistance could just be like affirming me and being like, oh, girl, this is so for you. Like, regardless of what you do, you're going to kill it. Like that for me is something that I would have a hard time giving up if I had to just be in a bubble and not Mm -hmm. allow anyone to have any uh, any knowledge of what I'm doing. So what makes you the most scared about some of the things that you want to do but have not said. I'm not saying that you have to say what the thing is, yeah. but. um, I think getting so far into something and realizing that it can't be done mm. or having the thought that it can't be done, losing steam on it, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Um, Yeah, I think that would be the biggest thing. Like the one thing, the probably the main thing that I, the main thing that's furthest on the back burner, that's the biggest, it's like the biggest pot on the stove, but it's all the way in the back. Yeah. That's the thing that I'm just like, it's a daunting task. Yeah. It's that elephant. But I understand that it's daunting for anybody to do this. Yeah. And then like, it was just what, earlier this week, 
when I got an email <laughs> and yeah. I'm reading it and I'm just like, and yeah. it ruined my mood for almost the rest of the day. Oh, I'm sorry. Just because just, just, I was just like, more money? Yeah. Oh, yeah. by the way, I need to pay that invoice. Just now, I'm like, mother, oh, more, uh, uh, more? And I'm nowhere close. E- I'm not <laughs> even close to being far away <laughs> <laughs> from accomplishing this thing. But yeah. I'm like, God dang, man. Um, but I got like the fact that I'm doing this on my own and I'm still trying to learn the ins and outs. And I, so because I'm trying to learn the ins and outs, cause I don't know what I don't know. I at least want to be able to know what I don't know. Mm-hmm. And I'm not even there yet. So I'm, I, that's why I'm like very slow. I've had people come. It's just like, Oh, I want part. Look, I'm not going to bring you in yet mm-hmm. and use your money when I don't know what I'm doing with my own money yet. Yeah. That's not what I'm going to do. And you know, that people understand that. But so that's one thing is yeah getting so far and th- and then either getting burned out and looking back at everything that's been done is like are you really gonna let this stop you yeah yes I am boy <laughs> you know <laughs> uh, the other thing is yeah so that answers that I was about to say uh, I was like, well, actually was about to put something out that I've been talking about working on is uh, doing like the like everybody knows I'm in the cars. Angel knows I'm always looking at cars, not even just old school. I look at all cars, current vehicles, used vehicles. I just love, I don't Mm -hmm. know why. It just intrigues me, I think, to do research like that. Um, So most people throughout this country are not buying brand new cars. Mm -hmm. They're buying used cars. Yeah. I'm really good at finding reasonable used cars, very low mileage, low, no, uh, you know, little ownership. And I'm like, I can create content out of this. Mm -hmm. The problem with that, doing those steps, me just looking on my phone or on my laptop, looking something up is one thing, but capturing all that and then talking about it, like I wanted to take it to the point of even going to that car and driving it and getting that content like, yeah, this is a car I would buy, Mm -hmm. you know, used. If if this was my budget or just set a budget, I'm going to find the perfect car for this budget for this type of person. Mm -hmm. But doing that, I do it all the time. Just me doing this in silence. Yeah. But then, all right, let me create some content. That ain't just <laughs> that ain't just a selfie video mm-hmm. on your phone. That's a whole different setup. Mm-hmm. So it's like the 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 steps that you see, this finished product, yes, makes perfect sense. But to get that finished product, I'm like, do I really want to put this much into that? And I'm like, why not? On one hand, I, this show is like, yeah, food, why not just do it? The other side is like, Go on, sit down somewhere. Yeah, go on, sit down. You know how I like how much uh, complicated that would be. <laughs> just <laughs> real quick before we uh, continue this conversation, we're going to go to our last sponsor. We're so excited to have a new sponsor this week, and that is Acorns. Listen, you guys, saving and investing is something that we, the Tank Sleeves, find to be super important. But we'll be honest, we don't know a whole lot about it. That's why we're so excited to tell you about this app, Acorns, that makes investing and saving so much easier, okay? Let me tell you a couple of things about it. Um, Acorns can help you and your kids save and invest. The best part? There's no expertise required. Investments are automatically put into diverse portfolios based on your risk tolerance. Because we all know we have different risk tolerance. Mine is even different than my husband's. So I'm so glad that I can choose what my risk tolerance is. Acorns even has exclusive financial education content for your whole family. Now, this is my favorite part. I'm a person that loves to be informed. I'm a person that loves education, even when I know I might not become the expertise at it. I love being able to be given information that will help me understand more what I'm doing. Also, I know firsthand with four kids how important it is to invest in their future, right, and to save for their future, This is why we are so excited to tell you about Acorns because it is such a crucial, crucial tool. Um, And listen, I don't have more time in my day. I'm literally using borrowed time. (laughs) And I know investing is important, not just for me, but for my children. And because I don't have time to manage, listen, a portfolio, and then I also, I don't have the money to pay someone to do it for me. That's why we love Acorns. It's easy to get started, okay? So all you do, and all I did, was just set my contributions to deposit automatically on a monthly basis. And it's so fun to watch the 
growth, right? You get to see potential growth over time, and I love that. So let me tell you this. The sooner you start investing, the more chance your money has to grow over time. From Acorns, Mighty Oaks do grow. Head to acorns.com slash argue. Argue. To download Acorns to start saving and investing for your future today. I'm going to read y'all a little disclaimer because it's super important. Paid testimonial and may not be representative of all clients. Compensation provided and incentive to positively promote Acorns. View important disclosures at acorns.com slash argue. Argue. Investment advisory services offered by Acorns Advisors, LLC, on SEC Registered Investment Advisor. Brokerage services provided by Acorns Securities, LLC, and SEC Registered Broker Dealer and member FINRA slash SIPC. For more information, visit acorns.com. And we are back. Um, I would say for me, the biggest thing about some of the goals that I don't like go for, uh, like big time, mm-hmm. is uh, imposter syndrome. Sometimes, a lot of times, plays into it. Yeah. In like in trying to avoid embarrassment. Oh, there's too much headspace up here. Um, trying to avoid embarrassment. It is. <laughs> Because you slouch down there. No, there's. I would have to grow a whole nother head. Go. Next time, don't move my cameras. It was off. Remember we ice skated? Everything was messed up. Baby, I reset them when I got here. And you did a horrible job. <laughs> you no, for real, you sat down and it was down here. I'm serious. Then it must have sank. Oh, just like that one turned. That one did turn. <laughs> yeah, I know it did. Because you turned it. Anyway, uh, yeah, imposter syndrome. Even li- like I some I judge myself so harshly, internal monologue wise. I know a lot of y'all probably think, well, Angel, you be talking so highly of yourself. Yeah, out loud, I'm really good at bump. Like I'm really good at being like turn on the cheerleader. It's time. Mm-hmm. But listen, them inner thoughts sometimes be so much louder than them outer thoughts. Yeah. Um. And there's but th- the thing is, they're slight. They're almost passive aggressive. That's what, thoughts. yes. It's not like you dumb B. It's not like that. It is very much so like, mm. yeah. It's that. And that, like your outer thoughts is be like, yes, it's a good idea. Your inner thoughts, like, okay. Yes. <laughs> That's all it takes is just a little, mm. mm-hmm. yeah. Or could, could that be funnier? Mm. <sighs> really, though, girl? Yeah. Are you for real going to do this? Um, I think that plays more on me than what I really, really let on. And this is why I sometimes now have to act fast. Like meaning I have an idea. Let me just go ahead and do it. Because if not, my inner thought will just weigh me down. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just hurry up and do it. Just hurry up and do it. And the same thing as you, some of my ideas are huge. Yeah. And so it is truly an elephant. And if that elephant gives me any pushback, I'm talking about the slightest. I'm like. Yeah, you just get an ear swipe. It's like, oh. I'm like, yeah. and not just that, I didn't put it on hold. I'll be back, elephant. You know what? You in a bad mood. I'll be back in six years. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like. I need your big ass getting out of control. <laughs> it's very agitating. Uh, is what have you done? What keeps you going? Um, knowing usually when I when I have an idea, I can already see the finish line. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, that's what that's going to be. Uh huh. There's all kinds of the the bull between there, mm-hmm. but it's like, like, for example, you open up any circuit board or electrical panel or anything it is a lot of people get overwhelmed by all this big mesh of wires Mm -hmm. but there's always a schematic on the side Mm -hmm. and it tells you that a goes to b all this bull right here in the middle yeah it goes through this wraps around and 15 feet of wire but the start and finish is right here yeah and i already see the end go Mm-hmm. Of course, I got to get through all this, but I know that's con- this is connected to that. So that's fine. Just go through it. It's right there. You mm-hmm. just got to get through all this mess. Yeah. That's what keeps me going. <laughs> I thought maybe you would ask me. 
what keeps you going. Oh. You usually be like, oh, really? Okay, that's not what keeps me going is. I know, but, you know, we can volley. Uh, I'm too dumb to stop. <laughs> I am so loyal to myself. I'd be like, uh-uh, keep on going. push. I mean, that's the reason why we're sitting right here right now. Mm-hmm. I was too loyal to myself to quit. Not even knowing what the goal is. See, you sometimes know the goal. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep la, going. La, <laughs> yes, that's exactly. La, 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 Too la. dumb to know <laughs> you should quit now. I'm like, now, let's just go. Let's keep going. Uh, all right, I would love to know what makes you nervous about certain goals that keeps you from really wanting to speak about them. Let us know in the comments below. You and, pushing me keeps me going, too. Ooh, tell me more. Just because, uh, as you know, like, unless it's, we both approach a lot of stuff solo. Mm-hmm. Like you got things you got going on. I got things I got going on. So have knowing that you got somebody in your corner is like, okay, yeah, I can do just, just hearing that extra. Like you probably get you. I know you not get, not get used to it. Like it's discredited, but people constantly cheering for me. Like, Hey, that's so dope. You're doing this, doing that because I'm so, uh, quiet about my stuff. Mm-hmm. So when I do hear you be like, Oh yeah, you can handle it. I'm like, yeah, I can, can't. I? <laughs> yeah, you can. You can. You know I'm going to have your back. All right, let's go to the audience question. Hey, ho, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, one question. Well, two questions came in for you. They're okay. similar. Why you got the look on your face? What was that? When will when there shit <laughs> will be? I ain't even looked at the question yet. <laughs> That's a very strong possibility now that we have Kennedy. That it'll be sooner than later. Mm-hmm. Even though Kennedy ain't gonna be the one making queen shit, you, she you won't. <laughs> but you, however, get, you feel like you'll be able to beat. I'll be like Kennedy. Here's the recipe. Find somebody. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, um, no, she that doesn't is have a, a longer network. A stronger uh, possibility. Um, yeah, she said. You didn't. The fact that you made that voice, I, I ain't even opened the message yet. <laughs> yes, you already knew. Uh, the question for me: Am I excited or nervous about this weekend? Butterflies. I've definitely my my gut started to liquefy yesterday, but I'm excited, and I am going to give them a show. You hear me? I was talking about Bre- uh, talking to Brisha yesterday. I said it's going to be good and hilarious at the same time. Because this is a black festival, okay? So we're not talking about, like, Coachella, where there's pyrotechnics, okay? Mm-hmm. We're talking about there's, two, there's DJ. There's a DJ, I think, on the, the stage. Yeah. The stage is a good size. It's, um, there'll be a lot of people because this is a huge festival. But it's not, it's not giving, like, where is your, like, props? Where are your things, Right. right? But the energy will be in the crowd already. Like, there will be no fans on the edge of the stage blowing hair. Right. But I'm going to perform as if all of those things are there. Okay? The- you going to give them Beyonce face? You already know. <laughs> the screen zoomed in. There will be, yes, yes. There will be <laughs> hair choreography. There's going to be a lot of... Alanta! <laughs> How y'all doing or not? Who's this old ass woman on stage? Come on, come on. <laughs> Five, six. <laughs> oh, give me one more. Like, There's uh, going that's to not be not the song, man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the guy who's kind of my handler and liaison, he was he's already in Atlanta. Liaison. Liaison. He's already in Atlanta. He texted late last night and said, They just played your song in this club, and this club went up. That's all I needed to hear. <laughs> Give me a read. I'm going to give them some. <laughs> Tina, give me some of that tequila. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a good goddamn on time. <laughs> and when I go back to watch it, I am going to laugh and tell tears. Because I'm going to be like, Angel. <laughs> when did I kick my shoes off? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make you noises be, that are not in the song. Be Dorothy on that stage. <laughs> yeah. Give me a read. Uh, yes, yes. I am super duper excited. Thank y'all. And it will be filmed. I already paid somebody to film it. So I y'all got will see it. The biggest regret about that on tour. Not filming more. Not filming more. I'm sorry, boo boo. Yeah, we had a really good uh tour. 
<laughs> yes. uh, what was what's the uh performance? I, 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 I. You holding the things. tour. What did we do? We toured. But what was it? You talking about show? Yeah, we had a really good show, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I was like, booty? Like you were doing all these like well, shakes? Like the, the thing that we put together, the show. Yeah. We had a really good show. Yeah, it's, it's we didn't film that of it. It's all good. It's all good. We filmed LA and we'll chop that together. That was one of our best. The whole thing? The whole thing from start to finish. Oh. Yeah, we have audience reaction. We have everything. Oh, yeah, we did film that one. <laughs> I love you. But it got so much better. You think so? I think so. That was our. That was a good show, though. That was, LA I feel was like, show. our best show. Okay, to end it off, we'll do audience comments of the week. And here we go. User PX6NH5KC47. <laughs> the serial number. <laughs> says, I got so tickled at y'all's argument. Now it's Hurdle. Marcus is hilarious. I can't wait to hear more about the Tanksley Turtle stories. Please name the them turtles Tank. Oh, please name them turtles Tank. This is too funny. The turtles' names are KJ and Zach. I thought it was Jack. It's Zach. It's Zach. Oh, the twins already named the turtles. I think it's Zach. Well, I will ask the I thought guy it was Jack then. with a J. And then I thought it was Zach. So let's just say KJ and Jack, like you said. It's yeah. one of them. It could be, yeah. They're still alive, and uh, they're doing well. And they're People have been saying turtles stink. That's because if you have a turtle that stinks, you don't have a filter on the water. Turtles naturally stink. Yeah, all animals stink. Because they, when they're in swimming water. in their pee and their poop. Right. A <laughs> fish tank would stink if you didn't have a filtration system on it. We got a filtration system. So prayerfully, they won't end up stinking. But they were swimming this morning. I check every morning to make sure they're alive. See how the water's clear? Clear. Yeah. Well, it never looked really, really murky. I just saw I get that murky that one day. But, yeah, it's yeah, looking well, good. Well, that's because the filter had to do its thing. Taking its team. All uh, right, you guys. Well, uh, yeah, we will turtle. see you all next week. Tell them where they can find you. Y'all can find me on Instagram at Marcus Ain't on the Gram, Facebook at Marcus Ain't on the Book, TikTok at Tank Don't Talk. You can find my beard and body butter called Man Shit. You can go to M A N S H Y T dot com. You can also find me on YouTube on my other channel, Tanks, uh, Tanksley TV, and my other podcast over there called Let Us Tell It with Greg. Um, He's and 800 I, I put away or 600 away from a 500. 500, 500 away, away from 100,000 100, on Instagram. On Instagram. Um, also, and so over there, we'll, we'll, that's where all my other content goes as far as car stuff and home repairs and all of that. So, yeah, y'all like that? Angel, go ahead. You can find me at That Chick Angel across every platform other than the X platform where I'm Angel the Actress. But I don't only over there if I'm making complaints to companies. You can also find me on Spotify and Apple Music giving you one, two, three, four, five margaritas. There are three remixes out right now. Go yeah, ahead and stream them. Go ahead and stop it. And uh, wait, don't you stop it yet. Subscribe to That's Your Game TV on YouTube. Follow me on TikTok. And follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah! Until next time.